It's fine, we will get the fireworks. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for the fireworks. And we will kill it. We'll actually kill it if we want. Hello everyone, it's Love here, and yes, before you ask, you will see Arcane Bombardment go off in this video. We made sure you will have your fireworks. And oh gosh, that was so hard, you cannot believe how hard it is to make Arcane Bombardment deck work in the current meta. So, uh, yeah, don't, don't craft this deck unless you really know what you are doing, because it's not a competitive deck. Like, this is one of the reasons you never see an Arcane Bombardment right now. Basically, everything destroys it, or kills you before you play it. But, but, when it works, it's absolutely epic greatness, and you will see one today. By the way, Mountains, look at this freaking art, it's absolutely amazing. Alright, on the deck, you know the drill, you've probably seen the deck before, and we don't have many new additions. New addition is Fires of Victory, really strong removal, we have one Galvanic iteration because it goes perfect with the rest of the deck. A temporary firestorm can be handy. If you have something like Wandering Mind, you can save it and just make sure that your second Fable will flip and give you the infinite combo. We are not heavy on the counter spells. Impulse is probably one of the best cards in this deck because it works perfectly. Uh, with Arcane Bombardment, it gives you fuel and it is a fuel. So basically, best of two worlds and as well, uh, early game, it helps you as well. So you can even think about playing four. Lear is your backup plan if other things don't work and Celestus is your go-to card to cycle 15 lands in a row from the top of your deck so you can actually hit stuff. We shouldn't play more than three arcane bombardments because they are super cranky and yeah, three is optimal size. So with that being said, I think uh, we can go into the fun zone because that's what you want. And don't forget to subscribe the, to the channel. We really did some work today to make this work. It was so, so hard, you wouldn't believe. And yeah, let's go into the games. All right, guys, going first. <laughs> and we, of course, got matched with another Is it because that's the most easy way to balance the game. Uh, I think we can just kill it. We can go card for card right now. All right, we were on the Painland side, so that's why uh, it asked. Let's go, man, This look at this mountain. This is the only reason to play red decks, by the way. <laughs> like, it looks so amazing. It's on par with, like, uh, islands. So, yeah, we definitely want to. Do we? Can he kill us from one turn? Okay, let's not risk it. Let's not risk it. I think that would be a bit uh, not smart. Let's say not smart, that's the word. I think Fading Hope? Nah, we won't Lance. I think we have enough interaction in the form of Burn Down the House. Wondering Mind is okay. Like, we need to go a little bit slower, I guess, and just try to go for the board wipe. I mean, that went interestingly. So, if we kin Jin, do we win the game? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Let's see. Do I win a game? He can burn something, but nothing more. That's that's weird play. Maybe he has another one. If he has another one, then that's correct play. All right. Like that's 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 a three three. <laughs> I mean that's. That's, that, that's something you can do. All right, let's play Wandering Mind. Yeah, the mana is right, and then we will see what land we play. I mean, Fable, Fable is generally a good card, right? Can we play it this turn? We can. I will because it cycles cards. I will even invest one of the treasures, because as you can see, we have a lot of mana, but not really a lot of value, and I want to cycle those two cards so, ma so much right now. I don't even think I will go for the treasure, I might double block. Alright, one blue, that's super important. So right now I'm not, okay, one blue, it might be negate, if last card is negate, we might be in trouble. We take this three. There was a priority. It means that it was not a counter spell. 
because there was no spell on the stack. Yeah, look, there's no spell on the stack, but the pause is here. It means this has to target some creature or something like this. Let's cycle those. So that means that we should be able to sweep the board. Easy land. I mean, if that's a burn spell, we need to just do this. Man, it's so cool to have Wandering Mind, but it is what it is. We could. We could save our creature. Do we go for the crazy play? Man, I want to make for the crazy play. If he has a counter spell, he will win, probably. Let's just go all in. I think... Oh, but no, no, no. If, if that's a removal, we don't get creature anyway, right? Because he just kills it in response. But you know, it's, it's still better. Yeah, chill out, bro. Kicker with this and this. I'm sorry that I'm thinking on my place on magic. I know I should just turn creatures sideways. You can kill the wandering mind in response. Oh, okay, okay. That's only thing that would make sense, but we also have paid in hope. And this way we can protect our wandering mind. And next time we will get the fable. We can bounce the gene. And when we start getting free card, ooh, that's a good free card. Uh, he has one blue mana. If he got something like Erdai Scorn, that's a big deal. First, Fading Hope. What you, what you gonna say on this one? We have so much mana, so any uh, mana based counter spell won't work. This is one of the reasons we are doing it main phase. Freaking from the top best player in Magic ever. So, yeah. No, nice top deck, <laughs> definitely nice top deck. Uh, I mean, this will also work. We are top decking even better, bro. <laughs> but we actually need to use card though and not just from the top. So we kill this and from next turn onwards we have infinite value and Lear is just nailing the coffin. Like whatever he top decks, how, however crazy it will be. Uh, we'll just use Rending Flame from the Graveyard or just something. We also have Fading Hope, so Lear won't really die. We'll have one mana on top of whatever. Yeah, one card. G guy, guy was like, oh my god, what I do? Why do you play so long? And he has one card, bro. And he has basically one, two targets. He can only use one of them. That's also a pretty good top deck, isn't it? Like, from the top, he basically broke the combo with one of his cards and dealt damage that he shouldn't have. And this guy is a legend. Rica oh, he's Ricardo, that explains a lot. <laughs> of course, we don't want to use anything. So given his insane top decking skills, we will just wait because he can remove uh, Wandering Mind and or Leer maybe. Let's see what he draws. Because when we untap, things will get very, oh. Oh, yeah, that's it. When you end up with Lear with all this stuff, you just go infinite value. That was a close game. Closer than it should be. All right, our opponent goes first. All right. Let's start with this mana. So we have red. Uh, if we play islands and play this on turn three, we don't have correct mana to do our crazy insane best plays. Man, Impulse is really good in this deck. Jewel Thief. Nice. I think this is something that demands an answer, or might, you know what, whatever, let's impulse. I changed my mind. I'm taking Arcane Bombardment, I don't care if the world breaks apart, I'm taking Arcane Bombardment. You guys deserve the fireworks and we will deliver on this channel, somehow, someday. I can skip one of them. And this is very bad target to bounce because it gives them ramp, so we don't really negate. Some, in some way we help them ramp. So now he needs to play something else. Falco. Why not, I guess. I mean, that's, that's a card you can play. <laughs> I really like Fading Hope, man. So uh, you may look at the, you may cast spells by removing a counter. But then we can kill it, right? So he might get one extra card. If he plays something with, with counters, we might reconsider our strategy. I really like, want to play Arcane Bombardment and play Fading Hope. Oh no, that's a 3 damage. 
how Dimir Mage can take 3 damage into the face without reacting. Impossible. Bankbuster, sure. I, I will take gladly everything that just slows him. Yeah, we will. He might activate Bankbuster, but then we will be ready with Fires of Victory. <laughs> Why would you draw in response? It's your end step, bro. <laughs> oh man, that was hilarious. We could burn down the house and just start pressuring him, but where's fun in that? Where's fun in that? Sure. He was thinking about counter spell, I think. If he draws cards, I'm so happy. Alright. Guys, it is happening. Smark, don't do anything with it. Just let it be. Just let the Arcane Bombardment be. Yes, it's coming through. And I'm sure against green color nothing bad will happen, especially white color with marches and all the stuff. We, I, I'm praying and fingers crossing so much right now. It's fine, whatever. Just don't, don't remove my arcane bombardment. That's all I'm asking. I mean, I will have more stuff. <laughs> Let's create some devils, I guess. <laughs> Definitely what I intended. Impulse, yes, yes. Oh, big we, we, it's going off. The fireworks, the fireworks are coming. Uh, do we leave one? Nah, smart. We can take four damage. We don't care. You know, our opponent is at casual twelve mana. <laughs> we are both doing the most random stuff. So <laughs> it's fine. I tell you, it's absolutely fine. It's absolutely fine. Uh, target up half of their hand. All right, I actually do not mind it, you know. Uh, all right, target opponent discard half cards, round it down. So if we play fires, we don't lose anything. That's really cool. I know, I know. It's fine. It's fine, <laughs> we will get the firework. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for the fireworks. And we will kill it. We'll actually kill it if we want. I want more devils. I'm the devilish type. <laughs> Our opponent is at infinite mana, by the way. <laughs> it's fine. We will make it work. Easy devils. Look at this stuff. <laughs> and next thing we will uh, get back. So I guess this... You know what? Let's go for the counter spell. I don't think we we need counter spell. We just kill him. We are creating three devils every single turn. If that's not madness, I don't know what is. All right, so he can crew the bankbuster. By the way, whoa, he's going all in on this. All right, the battle will be legendary. <laughs> uh, if he attacks, we can double block with the devils and kill Xander. I actually didn't thought, thought about this one. And he thinks he can do it. When this dies, what happens? Sacrifice non-land permanence. <laughs> so if this dies, like we can kill this as well, right? So we pink two, this pinks one, and this is the only thing left. And then we have four permanents, we get rid of the two. Oh, we don't need. Man, this is such a hard math. So two damage here. This has two damage. We sacrifice two devils. We hit this. So good. The god of math. <laughs> this is the most ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> That's literally the most ridiculous game ever. And it's absolutely fine. And first we need to go for Xander. All right. Now we sacrifice this and this. And now we use this to kill Bankbuster. Oh, as magic intended. This is absolutely fine. This is how magic was meant to play it, to be played. All right, we definitely play this thing, and we make more devils. Uh, oh man, this is actually stuff. I didn't want to play Fading Hope in all honesty, but it's fine. So create three devils. Easy. More devils, more win. Dissipate? Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> when he will cast something, we will just counter it and get all this stuff back. Oh man, it gets better. It gets better. 
I will leave one of Nah. We just attack with everything. Devils are here. 16. <laughs> the most ridiculous game of the day. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Dissipate. Maybe that's, sh that's not the thing we should counter, but I will still counter it. Let's make some devils. Let's make some impulse. Let's make some... Fading hope? <laughs> it works once every 20 games, but when it does, it's epic. Alright, rejoining. Is the game still on? Okay, I guess it's our turn. We drew burn down the house. That's nice. Alright. Oh, he attacked with both creatures and this crushed Arena because he drew a card. <laughs> nice. Quality, quality game. Wizards. Oh. That's fine. That's one damage. I definitely do not mind getting hit by one damage. So let's see what, what's really in stock for us. Because our opponent definitely plays something strong. Oh, yes. And can you feel the manual gentle taps? Nice. That was an interesting decision. I mean... If we want to sweep, we can sweep later, right? Never mind. If we draw a card, we will play a land. So this will be down to 4. We draw, so it will be 5. We can deal 4 damage. That's enough. Okay. Are you a spirit? No. I never read the re rest of the text. I probably should. So we try to mitigate the damage so we have more time. If we can uh, survive until burn down the house, that's absolutely fine. I'm still not sure what exactly they are playing. I, like, I know what the idea is, but they didn't put real threats so far. It was just the adversary. Oh, th th there it is. There it is. That's exactly what I meant. Absolutely fine my friend that's a really good combination because you basically can pay as much as you want but you know oh man my turn I feel kind of bad for him but not really not really all right that's one board down and we are nearing arcane bombard man we need to smash this card Sarah Paragon all right so we both have our infinite value engines can we make it work? Can we make it work? We definitely want to hit a chip in... I mean, this would work, but he will probably scoop. So don't do this at home, guys. That's not how you play magic. That's not how you play magic, but it's much more fun this way. Uh, this is an, a sorcery, so we will trigger bombardment out of... Oh, you, you know that the stuff got real right now. <laughs> Our opponent is like, what the hell will happen? No. Oh my god, playing arcane bombardment. I, I'm, I'm like a mad scientist right now. <laughs> oh my god. We will still win this prop... No. Yes, yes, we will. But you can see that Arcane Bombardment, <laughs> well, like, I, I'm not sure if we really won because of it. <laughs> oh man, that was so painful. <laughs> Damn you enchantments. Enchantments are so strong, so everyone keeps, oh my god. But they are not to power. <clears throat> Down to synergy. So we can do 3 damage if we don't play land. And this is something we have to do. Let's see what he plays. Uh, unfortunately, it will be low-powered creature, probably. Okay, attackers. Nice. Just don't tap wrong, okay? Okay. Nice. So we draw a card, and we deal exactly four, because the draw effect is first. Emperor? No. Okay. The card sucks, just to clarify. <laughs> and we are down to two, and this is a flyer. Oh my god. And that's another land. It's not looking so hot. Let's cycle. Man, Arcane Bombardment <laughs> definitely did not give us a huge edge this game. I mean, we can play this and block one of the creatures, but we cannot block two. We can go Celestus into removal. 
Oh man, that, that's not great. We will lose to 2 HP basically. Yep, he's attacking. When he had a lot of refills, I'll give him that. We have 3 cards, so we can deal 3 damage only. Oh my god, that was... this destroy evil. You can feel that RK Bombardment is not having the best time of in the meta right now. Alright, opponent goes first. We have a decent hand. Man, this is what I like about it, is it like their opening hands usually just feel pretty nice. I think we go with the cliffs first. I don't see the fading hope need. I think it, it will be fine. Man, look at this uh, mountain. That's so cool. Alright, we are in kind of uh, controlling matchup, I guess. We don't need the payment. You generally never pay. Uh, Play Payland unless you really want the mana that is colored in some weird combinations. Usually you just want to ensure you have the full mana with the standard thing. I mean... I want to bait him into using some mana first. Like 1-1 one, one is not a big deal. So let's make Celestus. That will help m a lot. This is actually pretty decent. He also cannot really use the sleeper. This is problem with using sleeper in non-mono black decks. Like, you can see he's so short on black mana, so it doesn't really do anything. It dealt two damage, yay, two damage. <laughs> it's just not strong enough. Uh, with mono black, you always can pump every mana in this. Yeah, he's really hurting on the mana side. And we love to see it, as every real Demir heart struggling with the mana. Alright, so I will take action. I like taking actions. I mean, I don't need Fading Hope. <laughs> well, I definitely don't need Celestus as well, I guess. Uh, let's go for the Painland. Do we want Double Spur? Like, we could cast it, but it's not great. We say go. Fires of Victor is such an amazing card. Man, this is one of my favorite removals ever. It's such a strong card. Yeah, he he really wants the card. And you know what? I understand it because I really like the card the the cards as well. I got bamboozled while saying this. Oh, uh, he can get the card or not. He cannot. Man, that that was a huge mistake. He traded basically his full turn for a lightning bolt in the face. That's not a good deal. What he should have done is play something else for 3 mana and just, you know, eat the loss, basically. As you can see, he has stuff to do. He just didn't go for it. I mean, big score into impulse? Seems pretty good to me. I like my lamp, so let's discard Celestus. I do it because then we switch the, the day night cycle, right? And that's kind of good. We have dissipate. Oh, do I really want to to cycle? Yeah, I want. Okay, I will take this. I want a Turkey bombardment, but you know, it is what it is. Let's cycle the mountain, even though it looks cool. Man, this deck is so fun to play, honestly. Like, we will double big score or double fires of victory for infinite value. I mean, we could kill it again. <laughs> we have some nice card advantage, so you know what? So we are falling a little bit behind on mana, but he also falls behind on mana. So he can do the same thing, like pay to mana and I think he will, but this means that next turn he has literally no pressure and we have a counter spell ready with doubling big score. So that should... Oh, he messed something up. I will give him heart because it happens. It happens to the best of us. Easy. Value. We will cycle through all those lands. Man, this is why I like Celestus so much. Look at this freaking value. Uh, our opponent does not run black mana. It means that we can be a bit lenient with how we play uh, big score. This is card you definitely don't want to see counter. For mana, he will take the sleeper, sure. He thinks it matters, and that's super cute. He might attack us for 4, but that means that he doesn't draw a card, and he basically doesn't do anything. He went for a very weird combination, in all honesty. 
and this is perfect spot for the burn down the house and this is the perfect spot for galvanic iteration <laughs> i know you missed this combo when when you see this as an opponent you know this stuff is getting real i don't know what we what we discard to be absolutely honest it's probably rending fire uh, we will definitely draw something right four lands are out of the equation we never do four lands nice I, I want my arcane bombardment. I have three of them. <laughs> That's why I play them. Give me my arcane bombardment. The viewers demand it. I demand it. All right. That was hell of a turn. I mean, it's probably this, right? So we sweep the board and give up the counter spell because right now he has nothing in the board. It means that he needs to place something into the board. And next turn, Sleeper. I honestly don't super like seeing Sleeper right now. It's a bit too mana. How much he can pump it? One, two, not three. He can, oh, he can because he has a treasure, but that will be his all mana. I don't want to get invoked, you know? And we can cycle the launch if we don't do anything, and that's pretty appealing to me. I will give him one card, we draw much more. Yep. Unless he just wants to hit for 4. Well, I guess there's no harm in doing it, and he can always draw later, right? Sure. The Bangbuster. Train. Going, going strong. Alright. Sleeper. Yep. That's your card. Enjoy. That's your one damage. <laughs> oh, another Bangbuster. Okay. This is actually something I do want to counter. Like, we need to stop the value. Four cards is absolutely fine. And there it is. There it is. What can we do? So we can play it now. We don't really have great ways to to do to use it what we can hit fires impulse fires we have some decent spells and next turn it, it gets better but honestly i think this turn is much better like this because we can make enough blockers and that means that next turn we'll a cycle with the fable those two lands like look at this stuff isn't it so much better so firestorm it's not bad, but I think we have better things to do. Man, it's just big score. You need to play it. Always need to play it. Also with Galvanic iteration. So next turn we will go crazy. This is the last turn opponent has to kill us basically. And then we go for the small catch that you all have been waiting for. Storefront, sure. All right. And if he attacks, we just block with whatever we have. First Wandering Mind. Oh, that's such a good block. I honestly just could take it. And I end it well. 15 damage, uh, 15 life is way too much for a Demir player. We need to be at one to really feel the win. <laughs> All right. He made an oopsie. And he scooped. What? What? <laughs> I don't know what this was. Why would you scoop at this point? Oh my god. Alright, going first with your cane bombardment and big score. You love to see it. Man, we, we might be doing it. Never start with Ireland. Uh, when, yeah, you know, unless you want your opponent to concede. We have fires of victory. Let's see, Demir or Esper. Okay, is it Esper Legends? That was a big mistake. I was not thinking about this play. It should be this one because we don't have three mana play, but we have four mana play. So hopefully this doesn't bite us at some point in the game. All right, my turn. It has to be the big score. No questions about it. And in all honesty, this is such a big deal that I will do it right now and I will cycle this round because we need to get 
those treasures, we need to get those cards, like we need to get stuff done. And it also pressures our opponent to react, and I, I don't really want to see the Emperor, you know? I guess I will, but I don't want. So we have two ways, either we just slam the Arcane Bombardment like a champion into the Wandering Emperor or a counter spell, or we try to be sneaky. We usually are sneaky, but should we? Should we be sneaky? We can just... When he plays something, we use big score. This shouldn't kill us, right? I really don't feel comfortable just playing into the four open mana on Esper. <laughs> that has only wedding announcement, so it's not the rough, like, super aggressive version. Yep. And now? Now we have so much mana that we can actually make some stuff work. And... I like Fading Hope, man. Do we kill the Emperor? That's the big question. I, am the Emperor of Kamigawa, and I, I think we kinda do. People. It's not bad. And we have Fading Hope to activate. Like, if we play Arcane Bombardment, it's 3, 6 mana. We play, we have 4 mana open. So it's Fading Well, that's, that's pretty good. We can double spell later. Alright, you got it. You got it, bro. We are at 20, so I hope... Oh, I just want him to tap out. Bro, just tap out like a decent person. I know coming from me just doesn't seem very convincing. That I, I always say island pass. <laughs> oh, he will wait with all the stuff. Alright, I... Oh no. I want to bait him into counter spell with big score. Can we do it? So if he counters it, we can still slam the Arcane Bombardment, but it won't be so good. Oh man, do we do it? I know you guys want it. I know you do. Slam. Slamming. Don't have counter spell. Don't be a bad person. Everyone playing counter spell is just... No! No, no, no. He has exactly the correct amount of creatures. Like, this is pay five and we have exactly four. Oh my god, you... You... You monster. This is actual monster. That's one of the reasons Arcane Bombardment is not very mythic-like, you know? Like, you get so destroyed. <laughs> I mean, this is... This is absolute garbage. I'm... I'm so mad. I would prefer a hard counter spell, you know? At least I wouldn't feel so bad. <laughs> I mean, we can maybe do it again. Yeah, I want this extra mana. This is kind of important. If he targets Samurai, I will probably fade in Cope it. Easy. Best play of my life. I couldn't even fade in Cope one of the tokens to diminish the mana because that would go exactly one for one. So I don't get any advantage. So that was as good as it gets. Like, a hard counter spell would do the same thing, right? But that's super annoying. Oh, I'm still hurting on the inside. Like, we can clear the board, but that's not the point. I don't want to clear the board. I want to have fun with my arcane bombardment. He's, he's just freaking <laughs> never tapping out. <laughs> Like, we can manually... Oh man, my voice just cracked after this hurtful hit. Uh, like, we can use big score, right? Let's go for the big score. Uh, Celestus, way, way too late. Let's draw something that can cast spells. You know what? I will take it. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. Let's see if he hits another counter spell, like a true champion. Wow. Good, that's, that was some serious magic.